Vitiligo is a common skin depigmentation disorder which causes the skin to lose its colour, or pigment, called melanin. In vitiligo, the skin cells responsible for producing the pigment, melanocytes, progressively lose their function or are destroyed. Yet the exact cause of vitiligo is still not well understood. Both segmental and non-segmental vitiligo have many proposed hypotheses to explain the sudden loss of epidermal melanocytes in the skin. Most experts agree that vitiligo is likely to be the result of a combination of factors, genetic, immune and triggering factors. Studies have suggested that genetic factors play an important role in the development of vitiligo with around 20% of vitiligo patients reporting the disorder in relatives. Multiple genes are likely to be involved, with different combinations inherited by different people. This is perhaps partly responsible for the extreme variability seen in vitiligo sufferers. More than 20 genes have been identified to date which are believed to have some role in the development of vitiligo. A well-established theory is that vitiligo is initiated by a trigger. These can include the possible involvement of viruses, hormonal changes such as pregnancy, psychological trauma and stress, exposure to some industrial chemicals, and trauma to the skin. Trauma to the skin is considered a common trigger. Body locations subject to repeated trauma to the skin, such as continuous pressure from wearing hats or friction from jewellery and clothing. In non-segmental vitiligo, the incidence of this phenomenon, called Cobner's phenomenon, has been reported in between 15 and 70% of patients. The most widely accepted theory for the progressive loss of melanocytes in non-segmental vitiligo is the autoimmune theory. The autoimmune theory proposes that the immune system reacts against the body's own cells and tissues, resulting in the destruction of melanocytes. Segmental vitiligo is a less common type of vitiligo, accounting for between 5 and 10% of cases. This subtype of vitiligo is less commonly associated with autoimmunity, as described for non-segmental vitiligo. The most common theory for segmental vitiligo is called the neural theory. The neural theory proposes that certain chemicals released from the nerve endings are toxic to the melanocytes and cause their destruction, leading to the absence of melanin production in the skin. In segmental vitiligo, the vitiligonous lesions do not cross the midline of the body and follow a pattern or are distributed in such a way that corresponds to the nerves underlying the skin. Melanocytes possess a protective mechanism to eliminate toxic melanin precursors and free radicals. Experts suggest that both types of vitiligo may involve a biochemical imbalance of this mechanism, leading to an accumulation of toxic chemicals and free radicals which can damage melanocytes. The exact cause of vitiligo is still unknown, however substantial research is being undertaken to determine its cause and spread. Globally, researchers are investigating many concepts including defects in melanocytes, the cells that produce pigment in the skin, whether proteins in the body which are involved in the pigmentary process play a specific role in creating or spreading vitiligonous lesions. The role of free radicals, such as nitric oxide, in creating or spreading lesions and it is widely believed in the medical community that the alpha-MSH analogue alpha-melanotide can assist melanocytes to activate melanin in non-segmental vitiligo.